Hi, Stephen. Someone informed me this morning that you thought it would be cute to try and summon me on stream while I'm asleep, as if that would satisfy the charge that I'm about to lay out. So let me remind you of something. We had an agreement. I don't think uh, an off-the-cuff conversation like this um, is is Productive. going to do the work either of us needed to to come to like some kind of resolution one way or the other. Um, I don't know when, but we should attempt to address this at some point a bit more seriously. I'm um, sure Would on whether or not academic institutions are pushing for a well, let's let's or... hack let's hash out what that what we're actually talking about specifically, and if there isn't something more core that we can we can focus on, but stuff along these lines because i don't i don't want to be like gesturing vaguely at papers and anecdotes and things like that like let's to the extent that we can and if we can't then we can pinpoint that as well like let's let's figure out what's actually going on sure i'll shoot you like a thesis i have and then we can have a structured conversation about it a later date you justified your nakedly self-serving media stunts with insurrectionist, racist, and transphobic media figures like Nick Fuentes and Lawrence Southern by claiming that you will use these connections to fight their bad ideas with your better ones. You claimed you had to do this for the sake of your business model on the grounds that you cannot communicate with the left. In conversation with me, you justified this statement by citing the overwhelming quote-unquote amount of university faculty that have been fired or forced to step down in institutions for not bowing to a progressive orthodoxy as evidence. I think you're putting uh, an undue amount of stress on the way in which you have interacted with people who have a specific uh, political and economic interest in, in fighting with you and the broader culture, which is generally willing to have like nuanced and careful discussions about these things provide you an approach it as in like <clears throat> yeah that's kind of crazy isn't yeah. it why are, why are you why are you guys trying to identify as as I, I, uh, forest I, creatures or whatever i understand what you're right? saying i would have agreed with you five years ago but based on the overwhelming amount of emails that i've seen the overwhelming amount of faculty that have been fired or stepped down in institutions and schools and the overwhelming amount of interactions that i see online it does seem to be the case in every facet that i've seen that you have to toe the progressive line 100 percent, or you will be excommunicated you'll be destroyed i do not see any areas in society right now where you can take reasonably like anti stances against certain progressive thought right now and and not get completely and totally destroyed in a gesture of extraordinary and unearned charity i proposed that we mutually investigate the factfulness of your claim that this is so and then either debate our contrary findings or discuss our common ones so that we could get at the truth of the matter you agreed to have a structured conversation once this had been done. Your community assembled pursuant to this every case they could find, and my community in turn assembled a huge list of documents detailing them. We scoured through them all on stream. These can be watched right now. I will have links in the description. From top to bottom, we analyzed every detail over the course of over 15 hours of airtime. Every document, every video, I then summarized our findings and gave you a comprehensive list of the material we used to establish our position, so that you would be in the strongest position possible to counter it. You began watching it on stream and going through the list yourself, intending to uphold, at the time, your end of the deal. Okay, fuck. I'm gonna have to do the reading and research on all of these cases, then, <laughs> which I'll get to, I will. But in the course of doing so, you realized one of two things, or both. The first possibility is that you realized the examples provided by your community simply don't satisfy the conditions that you set for them. No example in that list was of a professor who was fired or forced to step down in an institution because of a progressive orthodoxy. The case you have fixated upon in your recent engagements, the first one on the list, Brett Weinstein, sued his university, which in fact protected his job after he made blatant racist implications in email to an untenured staff member and misrepresented the nature of a benign program to right-wing media such that many left-wing staff and students were harassed out of the university themselves on the grounds that they did not provide security, which he in fact did receive and refused, and resigned only as a part of a half-million-dollar settlement. And yet, as wanting as this example is as evidence for your claim, this is still the best you've got. The only one on that list that has been fired, the best your entire community could come up with, was in fact fired on the grounds of a sex scandal with a student. Which means, Stephen, that you have no evidence for your case, but the desperate appeals I've seen you making to the common sense of an audience that has as little will to verify beliefs it finds convenient and therapeutic as you have. 
Now this, as it turns out, would work to your advantage, at least it would if you were honest, because it is you who claim that your associations with people like Fuentes, Southern, Sneeko, etc., can be used to combat their false ideas with your true ones, so that even if you were proved wrong to me, you would then be left with a rock-solid case to combat a pernicious right-wing conspiracy theory, as well as positive proof that you are willing and able to engage in good faith with a leftist, provided that they are willing to do so in kind and meet you halfway. As it is, since I had done all of your work for you, I've demonstrated that I was willing to meet you at your doorstep with a carriage. But this is where I think you realized something else. This is where I think you realized that in your initial claim, you had tacitly said something that you should have thought a bit harder about. I would have agreed with you five years ago, but based on the overwhelming amount of emails that I've seen, the overwhelming amount of faculty that have been fired or stepped down in institutions and schools, and the overwhelming amount of interactions that I see online, it does seem to be the case in every facet that I've seen that you have to toe the progressive line 100% or you will be excommunicado. You claimed that you had the evidence of an overwhelming, an overwhelming number of faculty and staff who were fired or who had to step down because they were bullied into doing so by progressives or because they failed to toe a progressive line. But Stephen, anyone can see at a glance that even if every single example on that list was of a professor who had in fact been fired for not towing some progressive line, this overwhelming number of examples that you cite would amount to a sum total of eight. As it is, We've in fact determined that you have zero, which means that when you implied that you had any experience whatsoever that led you to believe with confidence that there was an overwhelming number of faculty fired or forced to resign due to a progressive orthodoxy in our institutions, you made that up. You were lying through your teeth. And I'll tell you why you were lying through your teeth. You were lying because it is in your financial interest to appeal to the right by affirming their false beliefs, so that when you say that you are interacting with them to defeat their false beliefs, you are lying additionally. And this being in your financial interest is sufficient motive for you to lie to your audience, to the world in fact, because you can't handle the fact that as successful as you are in this space, you're still just jumped up trash compared to actually wealthy people, dwarfed even despite your years of hard work by a screaming imbecile like Sneeko. And that's why instead of canceling the debate, you ghosted like a flaky grinder date who'd broken under the guilt of having told a little fib about his length. That's why you didn't have the balls to say to my face that you weren't going to follow through on your end of the deal after dozens of other people had put in collectively hundreds of man-hours to do your end of the work for you. Because, Stephen, not only are you a liar, you're a pussy. Take care.